Once you get your blood drawn, it is really important to fully invert the tubes to mix the anticoagulants. All of our tubes have different anticoagulants in them, and so if you don't fully mix the tube, the anticoagulant doesn't get all the way through, and you can end up with some small microclots. Something I wanna show you is this example of this tube. So this is a tube that when you're mixing it, look how long it takes for the blood to actually fully invert all the way down. Upside down and back, that's one complete inversion. You need to have five to eight complete inversions per tube. So there's one, two. If I just do this like this, you can note this much of the blood at the bottom isn't even mixing in. So it's really important to give it that time. Note also, this is water. Water is gonna go a lot faster than blood. Blood is more viscous, so it will take even a little bit longer to get that full inversion in. But it's really important to make sure you do in order not to have microclots. Microclots will affect your testing. And some people will say, oh, the lab will let you know if you've done it wrong, but we're not gonna know there's problems necessarily, especially if it's microclots. So five to six, there's one full inversions, five to six full inversions after every draw with every tube you draw, whatever tube it is.